Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to SimpleChemConcepts.com. Today we're going to discuss on acids and at the end of this video, you're going to learn two things. Number one, you're going to learn how to formally define an acid and next, you're going to learn how to classify acids so that we can study them further. Alright, let's get started by looking at the board. In terms of definition, acids are defined as any substance which dissociates in water to produce hydrogen ions, your H plus ions. In a lot of chemistry syllabus, we can also use the word ionizers in water. All right? Now, we then look at how to classify acids. There are literally two ways to classify them. The first way is known as the strength of acid. Now, strength of acid refers to the extent of dissociation or ionization. And you will normally hear two words. One is called strong acid, the other one is called weak acid. All right, let's take a look on the board again. So, uh, first method to classify them is based on the strength of the acid. Okay, and then it's based on the extent of dissociation. And there are two of them. One is called strong acid and the other one weak acid. Okay? Now, let's use an example to discuss. So there's more memorable and it's easier for you to learn it. Now strong acid, the common example will be your hydrochloric acid and we're going to write a dissociation equation to discuss further. So strong acid HCl, when they dissociate, they dissociate completely. So we use a single arrow, all right, a full arrow, and it forms the H plus ions and the Cl minus ions. All right. There are two things that you need to be very aware of. Number one, a strong acid, as I mentioned, it uses this kind of arrow, and we say it dissociates completely all right, in water to produce H plus ions which also means every one mole of HCl will produce one mole of H plus ions or you can say one molecule of this will give you one H plus so just imagine we have 100 of this I'm going to have 100 of this all right? so what happens is we're going to have a high concentration of H plus ions all right? Let's take a look at another example uh, for the weak acid. All right? The common one is your ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. So ethanoic acid looks like this. When it dissociates in water, it dissociates partially all right? to form your ions. So you have your ethanoic ions and your H plus ions. All right? Again, we're looking at some keywords Weak acid, they dissociate partially, and then the arrow we use is called a reversible arrow. All right, so it dissociates partially. Okay, why is the story? The story is this: what happened is uh, for every hundred molecules of this, all right, when it dissociates by right, we should have hundred of this and hundred of this. For example, now what happened? is these two ions love to combine back and go back to your left hand side to form CH3COOH molecule all right as a rule of thumb for every hundred molecules all right um, basically less than one percent of the acid molecules are dissociated out. So most of them are actually back there. They are only less than 1% that exist on the right hand side. So because of this, we're going to have a low concentration of your H plus I ions. Alright, so this one we call it a weak acid. Okay, so this is strength of acid based on extent of dissociation. We then take a look at the second method to classify your acid is known as the basicity of acid. All right? So basicity, we are looking at 
the number of moles of H plus ions that are dissociated per mole of the acid. All right, and you hear two terms or a few uh, terms known as monobasic, dibasic. These are the most common. Once in a while, you also hear tribasic acids. All right, so let me write this down. So the second method is known as the basicity of acids which is defined as the number of moles of H plus ions dissociated per mole of the acid all right and then two examples the common one is your monobasic acid and then your dibasic acid alright let's use the example once again for monobasic acid in fact we have uh, discussed about it already one of them is hydrochloric acid your HCl is monobasic acid let me give you another common one uh, nitric acid HNO3 alright so when you write the dissociation equation nitric acid dissociate this way okay so it gives you this So if you take a look, all right, uh, for every one mole of this, the so one of this, right, one of this, you produce one mole of this. All right. So because of this, we then call it monobasic because for every one mole of nitric acid molecule, it produces one H plus ions or one mole of H plus ions. If you don't use the word mole, then simply we just say one molecule of HNO3 will dissociate to give you one H plus ions. All right, so that's monobasicity or monobasic acid. Now, what about dibasic? Let me give you an example. Uh, it will then be your sulfuric acid, H2SO4. When it dissociates, this is how we write the equation. 2H plus and SO42 minus. So, once again, we take a look, all right, for every one mole of this, one mole of H2SO4, it tends to dissociate and produce two moles of your H plus ions. And that's the reason why we call it dibasic. One mole produce two mole of H plus. One mole give H2SO4, produce two H plus ions, all right? Dibasic acids. So uh, let me do a mini recap on what we have discussed today. Number one, acids, basically there are three keywords you need to take note, they dissociate. Number two, in water. Number three, give hydrogen ions, your H plus ions. All right? There are two common ways to classify acids. One, based on strength of acid, which is really on the extent of dissociation. All right? That's the discussion on. There are strong acid, dissociates completely, give high concentration of H plus ions. The weak acid which dissociates partially give you low concentration of your H plus ions. Strength of acid. Second is based on basicity of acids, which is based on the number of moles of H plus ions dissociated per mole of the acid. Two common types, monobasic acids and dibasic acid. Monobasic acid, one mole of the acid molecule, will give you one mole of H plus ions. Dibasic. Every one mole of the acid molecule will give you two moles of the H plus I ions. And obviously, there will be tribasic acid. For example, phosphoric acid, your H3PO4. All right? Now, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Feel free to share this with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.